2007, I had found a lump and had a mammogram and an ultrasound, and my radiologist at that point in time told me that I had breast cancer. I tested positive for the BRCA gene, which meant that I have a mutation which can cause breast cancer and ovarian cancer in women and breast cancer or prostate cancer in men, and it can it can be passed on through generations and it's giving me a higher chance of having these diseases. I wasn't qualified to take the Herceptin or the Tamoxifen and these were the things that were found to be life-saving miracle drugs for breast cancer patients. If the breast cancer should spread, the likelihood it, it can go to your bones, your brain, your liver, it has kind of a path that it can take. We were treating my cancer very aggressively. Uh, instead of having just a mastectomy, removing the breast that had the cancer, I had a double mastectomy. Instead of just having chemo and maybe radiation, I had chemo and radiation. I was finishing my radiation and after that, my oncologist said, after this, you're pretty much on your own. There's nothing more we can do and then I was presented with the option of the clinical trial. Their hopes were if I were to take this drug that the cancer would not metastasize to my bones. The first thing I thought about was my children, was my sisters, their children, because the gene mutation that I have is hereditary. Maybe this may be a factor if they were to get the cancer, and I said absolutely. I want to try this. And at the end of the trial, I had a bone scan done and it came back clean and I am totally cancer free. Three years later, I look back at when my mother had breast cancer, which was over 30 years ago, and they didn't have the information, they didn't have the knowledge that they had right now, and unfortunately, she didn't survive. And had it not been for people, that have taken the risk, we may still be back where we were in the 70s. When you do a drug trial, it's like if you're thinking about everyone around you and the difference that you can make in anyone else's lives. It's giving back. It's a great feeling. I have been treated with such respect and such love and compassion. I, I can't begin to say how grateful I am. I will always be grateful, always. I thank God every day for the life that I have and if you get the opportunity, if you get asked to do a drug trial, please consider it. It's, it's the best thing that you can do and you'll never regret it.